What's going on everybody? Welcome to Average Guys Gourmet. I'm Tony Rican, and it's a beautiful, drizzly, miserable day in Chicago. So I've decided I'm going to hit the smoker and make some cherry pecan ribs to make everything a little bit better. So let's just go ahead and get started and jump right into this one. ribs you want to get them rubbed and glazed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of yellowed mustard and just spray it on there. Then we're going to rub this in. Now I've got a barbecue rub that you can check out my uh, the description for my recipe on. You can use whatever you want for it. Let's go ahead and get that in there. Yeah, this is a little bit messy. And then, you want brown sugar. Don't be shy with the brown sugar. You can put as much as you want on here. I'm making a little bit of mess. It's okay. Cooking's fun when it's messy. Now, do both sides of your ribs and let them sit in the refrigerator for about a half an hour before you take them out to be grilled. So I let my ribs sit for a little while and just really soak in all these flavors. Now I'm going to take them out to the smoker. We're going to go for about 225 degrees for about three hours. What I have here is I have a little uh, atomizer, a little mister that I have filled with apple juice. And what I'm going to do is about every 30 minutes, I'm going to give it a little spray. Coat the ribs down with these. So that's it for the first three hours. Then I'm going to go ahead and wrap them in tin foil and let them, uh, I'm going to put apple juice, uh, apple juice in the tin foil and let them cook for another hour that way, then 45 minutes naked. I'll go over all this again when I pull them out and I show you how great these things came out. But the first step, three hours, misting them with apple juice. So let's go ahead and get it started. Okay, so my ribs are done. They went for three hours at 225. And what I did is every 45 minutes, I misted them with a little bit of apple juice. When that three hours was up, I went ahead and I wrapped them in tin foil and poured apple juice in that, put them back on the smoker and let them boil in that apple juice for about an hour, hour, ten minutes. And then the final stage was I took them out of that tin foil, laid them on the grill, and I mopped them with my barbecue sauce. If you need ing the ingredients for the barbecue sauce, go ahead and check the instructions uh, below. It's all there. Now I pull them off and these things are ready to eat. They look great and man, I love a good rib. Mm. These are good. You guys will love them. So go ahead, make them enjoy, and we'll see you next time. Mm. 